Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 508. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Magic Trick 508 to 513. Hey, in this trick, we want to do dynamic V lookup. So right now, if I have I have data validation here, if I change uh, to um, name five, there's name five, it'll extract all this. But watch this. I want to be able to not only add extra columns, like when I have more data for this data set, but extra names. Let's go ahead and just call this uh, sales or something like that. and whatever these might be. Whoa, look at that. It showed up over here. And then uh, let's say, uh, I'll just copy this down for this illustration here. Now, we've added a new record uh, this way and a new column. I want to be able to come over here and have dynamic data validation. So name 9 shows up. And I want this these labels right here to populate. So as soon as I uh, put a new column here, Control Z there. I want it to show up here, and then I want the V lookup to uh, g get the correct item. Now, dynamic everything, we're going to do um, some dynamic ranges. However, the setup I'm going to use for this video is, is um, not how you'd really do it, because this table you probably want way somewhere else on the sheet or on a different sheet altogether. And here's why. A couple reasons. The dynamic formulas are going to be looking at the whole column here and this whole first row. So you never want to put extra stuff in this first row or first column. All right, let's see how to do this. And by the way, 508, I'm going to do offset and a bunch of um, functions like that. Over here, I'll show you how to do it with the table feature and table nomenclature in 509. All right, uh, first thing, three names I need to name uh, from here to here. I need it dynamic. So, And that'll be for data validation. So I'm going to Control F3, and then I'm going to create some uh, names. New, I'm going to call this uh, dynamic name, D name. I'm going to come over here, equals offset. Now, offset has five arguments. I'm going to say I always want to start in this cell right here, comma. And from that position, do I want to move up or down? No, I want to stay in that starting position. So by default, if you leave it blank, it is 0. Don't move any. Now. From this starting position, do I want to move left or right any? From that starting position, no. So I'm going to type a comma. The default is 0. The next argument is how tall is it? And here's we'll use count to just count how many items are in column A. So count a. I'm going to say count this whole column. You could just, uh, if there was only going to be you know, a maximum of 1,000, then you'd highlight 1,000. But I'm going to do that. Uh, the whole column. Now that'll give me one too many, because how tall is it? Right now that'll give me one too many, so I have to subtract one. Finally, the default for how wide it is, that's how tall it is we just did right there, the fourth argument. The fifth argument is one, because we always want it one, but if you leave it out it assumes it's one, so I'm just going to put close parentheses. Um, I'm going to click OK. There's the function in always when you are creating names, you want to check them, name formulas like this. I'm going to click the Collapse button, and sure enough, we can see that works. Uncollapse it. Now I'm going to say New, and I'm going to say for the labels that show up here, we need a dynamic range for the match function. So I'm going to call this one uh, a label. How about D labels? I'll follow the same D for dynamic, D labels. And then I will do the same equals offset. Starting position is there, comma, I'll leave that out because we don't need to move, comma, leave that out because we don't need to move. The fourth argument is how uh, tall is it? By default, it's one, so I'm going to leave it out. The fun it knows if you leave it blank. The default is 1. Same with how far do you want to move. If you leave it out, the default is 0. So now, how wide is this? Count a. Uh. And I'm going to count the whole first row. Close parentheses, minus 1, close parentheses. Now I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click the Collapse button right here. And uh, let's see if it works. Oh, look, it's uh, not. What did I do wrong here? It's only counting. 
Oh, we we don't want to subtract one here because we want the all the labels. Oh, uh, I'm gonna crew. I edited it right now in collapse mode. So when I click this, it's gonna say, "Hey, what do you want to do?" Um, I shouldn't have edited it there. So I'm gonna click close. It's gonna ask me, "Do I want to save?" I'm gonna say yes, and then I'm gonna immediately control F3. I should have gone up and edited it right there. I'm gonna go to D labels and click edit. That's how I should have done it, and then I should have edited it right here. But anyway, it uh, looks like it's working now. And finally, we need our table. So I'm going to click OK, New. We'll say D table. I'm going to come over here. And this one, we're going to need both directions. We're going to need the guts of the table, right? So equals offset. We're going to start right here comma, we don't need to move, comma, we don't need to move, those are all zeros by default, and then count, uh, we have to do both, column uh, A, and this one, we don't, for VLOOKUP table, you do not want the field name, so minus one, comma, and the last argument is how wide is it, count, uh, and then we're going to, we need it all the way, how wide it is, not minus one. Close parentheses, close parentheses. Click OK, and I'm going to click this collapse button. And there it is. Now um, I'm going to click uncollapse and then close. Now let's go ahead and do data validation. Alt D L. Alt D L. And then I'm going to hit tab and then L for list and then tab. And I'm going to hit the F3 key to paste a name. There is my D labels. Uh, we, we're doing data validation right here, so we want our D name. These are the names right here. Double click that, click OK. Now let's go ahead. All right. Now let's do our, let's do this first. We need to um, look up and match here. We'll retrieve the values, but we need a different formula for the labels here. I'm just going to do a simple one like this. equals if this cell right there, A1, equals blank. It's hard to see because of the blue there. If that's blank, then what do I want? Comma, double quote for blank. Otherwise, I want this A1. Close parentheses, control enter. Now I can copy this over. And I can copy it however over far that I might need. Uh, but right now, that'll work. All right, now we're um, the one step away. We just need to do our final uh, lookup formula and then test it by adding rows and columns. Equals V lookup. Now the lookup value is going to be this, and I need to lock it when I copy this way. So I'm going to hit the F4, lock it just in front of the column. You could just hit F4 once here. That's fine, because we're never going to copy it down. But I always tend to put the f least number of dollar signs that we need, comma, the table array, F3 key, and this is the uh, table, so D table. You can see right now, it's telling you that it's using all of that range there in that formula, even though those, those formulas are stored up in defined names, or name manager, comma, the column index, and this is where we're going to use match. The reason why we're using match um, is because we want to to look up here, and when there's a blank, it'll return an error, and we'll f deal with that in just a moment. So match, I'm going to look at the uh, cell above, relative cell reference, comma, and then the lookup array, remember we need a dynamic. So I'm going to hit F3, and these are the uh, labels, D labels. Comma, the match type, we're looking up uh, an exact match. These are not alphabetized, so we're going to say 0 close parentheses. That match will deliver the ordinal position or relative position in this list right here. So DOB will be 2, which is exactly what we need, the second column. All right, for VLOOKUP to return it for DOB. When it moves over here, obviously match will deliver 3 because that's the third value in this list, which will be the third column for VLOOKUP. Comma, and uh, 0 for exact match for VLOOKUP. These are happen to be sorted alphabetically and numerically, but when we have real names in there for the people, it may not be. So we definitely want to put a zero. Close parentheses. Control Enter, and I'm going to copy it over. The format may mess up here, so I'm going to say uh, fill without formatting. Click on that smart tag. Now we have an NA because there's nothing there, but no problem with the range still highlighted. 
F2, and then I'm going to do for I'm going to do 2007. Oh, maybe I'll just do the 2000 and uh, three and earlier. If is error, this one right here. I'm going to do if is error, and I'm actually going to need this. If that is an error, that V lookup, then what do we want? That's the logical test. It's saying, is it an error, comma, value of true, double quotes. That's what I want, comma, otherwise, and I'm going to control V to put that V lookup. Close parentheses, control enter. So now that'll work. Uh, obviously, the easier way to do this would be equals if error in 2007. <laughs> then you just list the V lookup once, and then if there's an error, what do you put in the cell? Double quote. 2007 and 2010, actually 2010, the next version is going to be blow people's mind. It's, it's the best version ever. So if you don't have any of those yet, at least get 2010, then you'll have great things like this if error. That's just formatting. So I'm going to do my uh, paintbrush right there. Now I can copy this formula over and point to the smart tag and say fill without formatting. Now let's test it. Okay, now I'm going to come over here and whatever this, I don't know what this is going to be, sales. And I'm just going to put a value in. And then uh, copy this one down just to test it, right, like we were entering new records. Uh, and did the data validation update? Is it seen name 9? It sure is. Did the uh, label show up? It sure did. And did the formula work for retrieving the new values? It sure did. All right, uh, that's dynamic um, VLOOKUP, or how do we retrieve values dynamically using VLOOKUP and match and, and the if over here from a table. Uh, we use the offset. In our next video, we will see how to do it with table, which is definitely easier if you know how to use the table, the new table nomenclature um, stuff and formulas. In particular, we're going to see the, uh, the label aspect of that. So next video, we'll see you then.